God Almighty, what would the number one player make me use this week? Oh wow, I definitely didn't check this before recording to put the video to put the, the team there to be ready for the video or anything. King with Elaine, actually a very good team. I mean, King with Elaine actually is one of the most interesting combos they released that they they really expand on. They released like 500 holy relics for fairies, right? Which Elaine also got one. And then I really thought that with the Ragnarok update coming, they were going to release another fairy. I'm going to actually put the same links as he had. Uh, I thought they were going to release another fairy to combo with this, right? Have like Elaine, King, and like another fairy that could also get, you know, use out of uh, Elaine's passive. But no, they released a BDSM goth <laughs> girl uh, for, for Deer and no one else. So I don't know. I think that's it. Like, that's the team. Uh, which is a really good team. You know, you have Merlin, number one most annoying character in the game. So you can't go wrong with her. So you got basically really good DPS mixed in with very annoying attack ceiling, ult removal. Um, you got buff ceiling, so they can't cleanse from Merlin. Because there are still a lot of people using, you know, Margaret in PvP. So you got the buff ceiling on that. And uh, would you look at that? Another... Emilia King, or Emilia, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, let's do this, I meant Elaine, Elaine King, look at that, uh, he will still be able to attack me with Merlin, but that's fine, that is fine, so the shock, uh, for what I can understand, unless I'm really stupid, for what I can understand, so long as the enemy has shock, Merlin, also gets a 30% damage increase. It doesn't necessarily have to be a fairy uh, as part of El Elaine's uh, holy relic, right? Let me actually make sure of that. I'm pretty sure it's how it works. It doesn't have to be a fairy. Increases, yeah, because um, she increases enemies damage taken by 30% when they have a shock debuff. That's not like, it doesn't have to be her passive's shock or her passive's own effect. It's just shock in general. Um, so it works out obviously really well with just making so like the third character on the team doesn't have to be a fairy to take part of that 30%. So long as I apply shock first, like the, the Merlin attacks are working on the extra 30% damage. They're not taking all the, the effect from, you know, um, the passive, because the passive, the 30% da damage increase that Elaine provides from her passive uh, doesn't work on Merlin, obviously, but the Holy Relic does, so I mean, she can still take good part of it. So if you if you do that what I did to the other guy, I mean, it's, you kind of want to go first, it's the biggest problem, right? But if you do what I did to that guy, they can't really do much. If you just attack seal them and they don't have a cleanse. And if they do have a cleanse, you can attack seal them and then seal their buffs. Which, I mean, no one's running blue skinny king, right? So they're not gonna, they're not gonna have like a, a heal cleanse. They have a buff cleanse, Margaret. Oh. <laughs> it looks like someone's gonna get absolutely obliterated by king right there. Um, well, let's just do the same thing I've been doing. This person might have dodge food. Because it's pretty laggy and they don't have the most CC. No, okay. They have uh, probably resistance food. Oh man, Merlin still hits very hard with her single target. That's crazy. Even though I'm being like supremely lowered. Merlin still hits really... Again, she is taking effect from the, uh, the 30% as well. Which really helps. Yeah, I can just kill King, right? I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think I have to be there on the bush. I should just kill King, right? Or I could attack to them again. I could also do that. Just to uh, play with their emotions, I can attack to them again. This is why Merlin is so great, because you can just... You can actually mentally torment them. Oh, they might actually kill King. Oh, you will kill King. No. You can just completely mentally torment your enemy. And that's the beauty of Merlin. Not only she hits hard, she's also a piece of shit. 
Oh, I, <laughs> this person, I just quit the match. I gave him the win. <laughs> um, I mean, I can, I can keep torturing them. It's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Let's target King again. I definitely don't have a problem with torture. I'm surprised that attack is not doing so much damage. Because, um, you know, I... I can tell that this person is using resistance food. So they must have a lot of resistance. I'm surprised the power strike is not hitting so hard. Because uh, they also had green Gale Thunder in the back as well, obviously. So again, weird champ. This, uh, this combo of cards will uh, sure hit very hard though. A level 2 from Galfer? <laughs> no way! Wow, he really, po he really popped off some cards there, huh? I mean, King, King just pops off so hard. I mean, the good thing about Elaine is that uh, she actually has good CC compared to like maybe if you're using like King, Kyo, and Green Galfer. Like Green Galfer is just horrendous CC, unfortunately. It is what it is. The unit is just old, and I mean, it doesn't help that Green Galfer got like a terrible Holy Relic, right? It really doesn't help him in his case. Giving that guy the win, because with his setup, he's probably not winning very much. Oh, you, I'm not giving you the win. It's it's 2022, you're still using Bon? <laughs> We're about to have another anniversary. <laughs> you're still using Bon? Uh, I'm actually going to go for this. I kind of just want to do damage to him. Although, it, it is not the way to go here. You probably want to honestly seal Bon from using a buff card on the first turn. It might actually just be the best. Because then he can't heal. Like, the healing every turn from Bon is the worst. Not so much the damage. Because, I mean, especially if you're taking off Bon's ultimate gauge every turn, it's really not so bad. I mean, it's a bot, so... Um... No, I really wish I could... I can definitely, I can definitely push... Your ultimate? And then, like, I don't know, seal the buff card here. Because he didn't pop in Arthur's uh, stance. Seal the buff card in case he has another one, why not? Yeah, because you see, like, just that healing. He, he had no life steal, no nothing, just that heal was, like, half of his health from what he had, right? He had, like, I don't know, 15% of his health, then he healed for, like, 40%. It's, uh, the blue card heal is pretty annoying. That's why, you know, Elaine, although I think that the buff seal would be way more relevant, like, a long time ago, when, when it does come in handy, it's pretty handy. It's, uh, I mean, Bond is dead. I don't even have to make sure that he dies, but... The one goddess lives in Green Gaffer. This team should be in a museum. And very, very far away from a team. Let's seal the god off with shield. Oh no, I'm actually just kill her. He has no, she has no gear. <laughs> no! Damage is gonna put on the shield next turn. It's okay. I, I don't I don't feel the need to keep on going, because I've used this team before. And I've used King plus Elaine like multiple times before at this point. I don't feel compelled to make a 20 minute video on it again. Um, but I just find it funny that, you know, Elaine is a meta unit. Elaine. Whoever thought that they was, was eventually going to come was a madman. <laughs> 